Hello everyone, Christine Blasdale back at you again with the micro podcast on podcasting. And today's episode is number six. It's all about your theme music, finding the perfect music for your podcast and your introductions. Now, this is something you really want to take your time considering because you only have a few seconds to capture that person who stumbled across your podcast show. You only have a few seconds to impress them, to get them to say, hey, wow, I like that music. I like what they're saying. I like how they're introducing themselves. So in this episode, we're going to be talking about some resources that you can have for your theme music and also a real quick introduction on your introduction. Now, let's get into the music. As you notice, with this particular micro podcast, there's a music bed that plays underneath the whole thing. It's quite catchy. I kind of like it. And I got mine at Shutterstock. I've included in the show notes a link to the Shutterstock website where you can actually listen to samples of every kind of genre. It doesn't matter. It can be country western. It can be ambient. It can be modern. It can be old timey. You name it. There are literally thousands and thousands of choices for you. And you do pay a small fee. It's awesome because the artist gets some money. Shutterstock, of course, gets some money. And you get an incredible theme song that you can play. You can play it in the very beginning of your podcast show and drop it down as your voice comes up and you tell people what your show is all about. Or if you having a micro podcast like this one and you're feeling it you can have the theme music run throughout the entire short 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 podcast there's other resources on the web of course do your research google it yahoo it whatever you need to do but if you'd like to use my choice my choice is shutterstock and the link is provided I happen to think that my theme music is quite snappy. And as a matter of fact, I've had several people say that later on during the day, they're actually humming this theme song in their head over and over and over again. And you kind of want that. Okay, now real quick, your introduction. You want to, of course, welcome your audience to your show. Thank them for coming. It's kind of like having somebody come into your house. You don't just leave the door wide open. You welcome them. You say, hey, come on in. You leave hors d'oeuvres. You maybe pour a glass of wine for them, whatever. Make them feel at home when they're tuning into your podcast. And of course, it's wonderful for you to inform your listeners a little bit about you, but don't take up too much time. Don't go on and on. Don't do a thesis. Don't tell them every, you know, you graduated uh, from this high school and that and, and who you dated and and your how many kids you have don't do it keep it short keep it brief and get to the subject matter get to your guest or get to the topic of the day just get to the material right away i cannot tell you how many times i have listened to a podcast show and the introduction the host is going on and on and on and on and on and on and you know what i don't stick around and either do other listeners we leave we bolt because this person is going to go on and on and on and not get to the meat of the damn show that we tuned in for so keep it short keep it brief if you want to mention your website of course drop it you can do that it's not a problem but just keep it brief another thing i want to say in your introduction make sure that you don't get too specific about how your show is going to be unless you're going to stick to that kind of format if you say it's going to be a weekly show gosh darn it you better make sure that it's a weekly show but if you just say it's a cool show about i don't know buddha then keep it a show about buddha but you don't have to do it every single week. You could do it every other week if you wanted to. So give yourself a little leeway. Don't be too specific unless that's a real specific show and you are committed to doing that show every single week or whenever you say you're going to be doing it. If you're saying it's a daily podcast, my God, you better be doing it daily, okay? This is just something that beginning podcasters get themselves in trouble in. They bite off more than they can chew and then later on, they really regret it. Okay, so today we covered music theme, Shutterstock, best place to get it. Another option for your music, and this is only if you're extremely talented or you have extremely talented friends, but you can actually create your own theme music. I don't know how to play an instrument to save my life, so I would never, ever, ever dare do this. But if you are creative and you can play the piano or you can play the guitar and you wanna create your own song, go for it. Or if you have a friend, you have somebody, a family member who's extremely talented and gifted and they want to create a theme song for you. Wonderful. Just make sure you get it in writing that you can use it and they ain't going to sue you because family don't think there's just because they're family. They're not going to sue you later because there's no such thing as family in court. Remember that. All right.
Thanks again for tuning in. This has been episode six, all about theme music and your introduction. If you want to get in touch with me, if you would like to have me guide you through podcasting and be your coach, trainer, manager, director, and you can find out more information at christineblasdale.com. Thanks again for listening to the micro podcast on podcasting. Thank you.